Good day, students, and welcome to a clip on parametric differentiation. Uh, we're going to be using um, some formulas we're going to derive to find the first and the second derivatives of, uh, of parametric functions, okay? So before we take a look at uh, an example, we're going to go ahead and derive uh, the formulas that we're going to be using today. All right, so um, let's write this down, formulas the formula. So let's say we have um, a parametric equation in two variables. Let's say we have x equals um, x of t and y equals y of t. Y of t. So the question is uh, how do you find uh, dy dx? Okay. How do you find dy dx of a parametric equation of this nature? So that's what we're going to do. All right, so since we're looking for dy dx, um, what if we separate these two? We write this as dy over 1 times uh, 1 over dx, right? If I multiply across, I'm going to end up with dy dx because dy is in the numerator and dx is in the denominator, all right? So having separated my dy and the dx in this uh, fashion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by dt over dt, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, distribute uh, this dt on the top is going to go to this 1 over dx, and then this dt on the bottom, uh, I'm going to send it over to this, multiply to this uh, dy over there, okay? So let's go ahead and apply that approach and see what happens. So if I multiply it like that, I'm going to have um, dy dx is going to become dy over dt, which is this one, moved over there, times dt over dx. Okay? All right. Now, um, if we multiply, if we multiply, if we're multiplying dy dt by dt dx, uh, it's, I can rewrite this as dy dt being divided by the reciprocal of this uh, uh, fractional expression right here. So this is the same thing as dy dt divided by dx dt, right? Remember, division is multiplying the reciprocal, right? So I just changed this to division and I reciprocated this as the opposite, all right? So um, let's write this as a fraction. If I write this as a fraction, this is simply going to be dy dt in the numerator divided by dx dt, okay? But guess what? This is a formula for finding the first derivative um, of a function expressed in parametric uh, form, all right? Of parametric functions in two variables, x and y. All right, uh, what about if we ask to find the second derivative? What if we wanted to find the second derivative of a function of this nature, x equals x of t and y equals y of t. Well, we have some of the work done. We're going to take advantage of this in a minute. So what we're looking for is uh, d square. So this is, let's write a side note here to the first derivative. We're going to be looking for the formula for the second derivative now, OK? So the square y uh, dx square. This can be written, um, <clears throat> I can break up this d, this is basically d times dy over dx uh, times dx, okay? So this is basically how you write. Remember, the x square basically affects these two. It's not just d of x squared, it's dx squared. So um, now let's see. Let's group them, separate them, so this can be written as d dx, which is the derivative of the first derivative, dy dx, okay? All right, so um, remember the notation, another notation for dy dx is y prime. So for symbolic convenience, I'm going to represent this y prime, uh, dy dx is y prime, okay? So now we have um, d dx of uh, y prime, okay? So this is my substitution here. Y prime because we, we know that the y dx is the same thing as y prime, okay? So this is what I want to look for now. If 
I remember my x and my y are functions of t, so I need functions of uh, y and t and then x and t here. So this looks just like the original problem that we have. Uh, you remember the original problem we had? We had dy dx, but in this case, is dy prime uh, dx. Okay, so I'm going to use exactly the same approach as I used up here. Imagine that y is y prime. See this y right here? Imagine that is y prime, okay? So how did we do it initially? What I did was is I separated the numerator and the denominator. I put dy prime over 1 times 1 over dx, right? Remember? And then I times the bottom and the, the, num the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator by what? By dt, right? dt dt over dt. So d the first dt goes to the dy prime, and the second dt goes to the numerator of 1 over dx, all right? So if I do that, I'm going to have uh, dy prime over dt times dt over dx, okay? Let me write my dx again. I didn't write it properly. Uh, over uh, dx. Okay. Now I have a product here, but I want to express this product as a quotient, as a division. So I'm going to uh, write this as dy prime dt. Instead of multiply, I'll change this to divide and I'll reciprocate the right side. I'll uh, express it as dx over dt. Okay. And this can be further expressed as uh, dy prime over dt divided by dx dt. And guess what? This is a formula for the second derivative uh, the, y, the, the square y dx square, second derivative of a parametric equation. All right? Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be applying um, these examples, uh, I mean these two formulas in finding the first and second derivative uh, of a function of a parametric function, okay? Parametric function in two variables. So this is second derivative. Okay, so example one. <clears throat> We're going to find, let's write this down, example one. Find uh, the first and second derivative. Find the first. and second derivative of uh, x equals 3 cosine t and uh, y equals 4 sine t. Okay? All right, so uh, to find a first derivative, dy dx, we're going to use the formula that we just uh, derived dy dx equals dy dt divided by uh, dx dt, okay? So let's find them independently and then we'll uh, write down the quotient of the two derivatives and that will be our answer, okay? So the first thing we want to do is find dy dt. So the derivative, which is basically uh, the derivative of 4 uh, sine t. So what's the derivative of 4 sine t? The derivative of 4 sine t is 4 cosine t, okay? And then we now have to find dx dt, which is a derivative uh, with respect to t of 3 cosine t, which is going to be negative 3 sine t. All right? So what, that, what does that tell me? Oh, that tells me that dy dx equals dy dt, which is 4 cosine t, divided by uh, negative 3. The negative is a little bit too long. Uh, so 4 cosine t divided by negative uh, 3 sine t, okay? So that goes the first derivative. I can write this as negative 4 uh, cotangent, cot t, cotangent t, all right? Because cosine over sine is cotangent. Negative 4 third cotangent t. Uh, these two formulations are, represent my first uh, derivative, all right? Okay, now um, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the second derivative. All right, so part B, or the second part, we're going to be looking for uh, the second derivative. So um, 
to find the second derivative, we're gonna be using it in the second formula we derived. Um, so let's just write a notation here, second derivative. So the formula for second derivative is basically, so this is the square y dx squared equals uh, dy prime over dt divided by dx dt. Okay. All right. So we're gonna find the them one at a time. We look for the y prime dt first, and then dx dt. Okay. So uh, we already know what y prime is, right? The y d uh, the y dx is equal to y prime, and it is um, equal to uh, negative four thirds is equal to negative four thirds. Uh, cotangent t, right? Okay, so now um, if we want to look for the y prime dt, we just simply differentiate this function with respect to t, okay? So it's going to be negative 4 thirds. Remember the derivative of cotangent um, is negative cosecant, right? Negative cosecant squared. So this is going to become times negative cosecant square t. Alright, and then we'll multiply these two together. We're going to have uh, 4 thirds cosecant square t. Okay, so they have it. Okay, so we have dy prime dt. So the next thing I need is dx dt, right? Uh, guess what? We already, we've already done this. Let's go up and look. Dx dt is negative 3 sine t. Okay? So dx dt equals negative 3 sine t. I don't have to bother doing it again. Alright? So we have the ingredients we need to create our second derivative. So uh, dy prime uh, d, uh, actually, d, let's just write it in the, in the original form, which is the second derivative. So let's write it as um, the square y d, dx square is simply going to be the y prime dt, which is 4 third cosecant square t over dx dt, which is negative 3 sine t. Okay? Let's simplify this further. We know we can write this as of negative 4 over 9 cosecant square t. And uh, 1 over sine uh, can be written as, this is the same thing as 1 over sine, can write it as uh, cosecant t, right? Because us, 1 over sine is cosecant. So if we multiply these two together, we're going to have negative 4 over 9 cosecant, third co cosecant to the third t, okay? So that basically goes your second derivative of the original parametric uh, function that, that I gave you. All right, so there goes your answer. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. If you like this video, you can click the like down here. Uh, please, please, please post a comment and tell me what you think about uh, this uh, video clip. More clips can be found on mygoodstrip.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.